watching the Big 12 on ESPN. One of the most anticipated series of the softball season, number two, Texas, number 10, Oklahoma State. These two rivals have played some back and forth classics. The last Such a good combination of both speed and power. That one's a little high from Acock, and no swing, according to Chad Steer, is at third. One of the most patient, one of the best contact hitters in the league. That's low, a delayed steal attempt for Henry, who hesitated and still made it to second base on the ball in the dirt. Acock with 21 walks on the year, 56 innings, about two and a half walks per seventh. And she walks the first two of the game. Henry and Scott are on. It's first and second. No. Had the most success, at least to Mitchell, with her inside fastball at the knees. Another one down, and that will enable Henry to get to third. Talking to Julie Mitchell. Mitchell drives the ball into the gap. Texas has the game's first run. Scott will go to third, stop right there. Mitchell is in the second. A run scoring double for Jolie Mitchell, who's reached base in 19 consecutive games. And there from Chad Steers. Okay, there's the call. Scott is out for leaving early at first. One, the first inning. Another 3-2, that is a call third strike. Mitchell down looking as Acock blazes one over the outside edge. Well, and we said early. Atwood at the plate. And a first pitch swing down to third for Reese Atwood. Oklahoma State gets out of it. The throw from third from Talon Edwards ends a bizarrely scoreless inning. See what the Cowgirls offense said. Here just, I think, started to feel the pressure every single year to get back. Davis with a ground ball squirreled out to short. Vivi Martinez throws her out there. Five games all year. They go to the front. How about that back control by Edwards? Just a little half swing, if that volleyed down the left field line. Keeps the ball on the ground and a lot of singles against her. That ball blistered in the left field, a big hit for Godwin. Carly Godwin is three for five in this series. And Oklahoma State has back-to-back -back hits in the first. Amen, more of a drop ball pitcher. That ball was up, Caroline Wong hits it off the glove of Gutierrez. Edwards rounded third has to get back to the bag and scrambles in safely. Sophomore from Buena Park, California will swing away. Line one into center right at Henry. Edwards tags from third. Edwards scores the game's first run. It is Oklahoma State on the board first. for another 0-2. Work on the ground to shortstop. Not fielded cleanly by Martinez. And E6 is gonna reload the big. A 2-2 on the way. Lot with a ground ball, another chance for Martinez. And this one, she aces. A first inning that was anything but boring. Throughout their lineup. This is Viviana Martinez, the shortstop, grounding the ball to third. Nice snatch there by Talon Edwards. The converted outfielder with a nifty play at the hot corner. Such great plays back behind Lexi Kilfoyle, a drop ball pitcher. And another ground ball to the left side. This one wide of Edwards. The first year shortstop, Bloodworth. That is a Jeez. rework. So they have great power to complement that this year. Batter is Katie Stewart, flares an 0-2 to second. 
So every infielder gets involved in this inning as Rosie Davis catches a pop up. Younger staff, part of a younger team. Megan Bloodworth, first pitch swinging. Megan Bloodworth gets in on the hit parade. And the ball booted by Henry. That will allow Bloodworth to get into second base standing. The year. And here's Taylor Anderson squaring around in the ninth spot. Anderson lays down a butte of a butt. She is retired at first, but she gets the job done as Bloodworth moves to third. All American at second base. Right back to the circle. Gutierrez to the plate. And did Stewart get it off in time? Yes, she did. Davis to second. And she's out there. It's a double play. One, two, five, and four over Eager Davis. This is better communication by the Texas defense. They need to use this energy from this defensive play and take it into their bats in the rest of the game. From her hitter can just get a, get away from her like this. That one really got away from her. Her third walk of the game, Ashton Maloney, the sophomore, is on. Wow. Off the top of the backstop padding and a wild pitch thrown by Acock. I don't think this one's going to be scored a pass. With a 1-0 count against Bella Dayton. Rosenberry will bounce one to the dirt. It kicks away. Wong couldn't handle it. Another wild pitch and Maloney's up to third. So two wild pitches by two pitchers. An illegal pitch would be a ball either way as would a timing violation. 3-0 is low. Four pitch walk. Two pitchers, two wild pitches, four balls. 22, where Texas eliminated Oklahoma State, winning two games on Elimination Monday. Go down to second, Dayton will steal the bag. Long did not want to throw it through. With exactly sure what she is doing, illegal. So it's three and two, got out of short, Bloodworth to the plate, and she gets Maloney. Long threw back to third. Dayton was safe there. <laughs> Wildness and weirdness already. To cover a full minute. Long throws through to third. Texas once again is going to have a runner at first, take second. Caden Henry with an uncontested steal. Runners in scoring position. Scott got a piece of it. Down to third. Edwards goes to first. Play at the point. Dayton is safe. And Texas ties the game. Long is going to slap the tag on. Just to make sure that Scott touched the plate, Chelsea Clark says she... Again, this is where the speed plays such a big part in Texas's game. Bella Dayton got a great read. As soon as she saw Talon Edwards let go of that ball to throw to first, she to first, get her to get off in third a little bit more. Jolie Mitchell, the chopper to Godwin at first, and that will end the third inning. No hits, but walks. Edwards, one of those four hits in the first against Sitlali Gutierrez. It's down the line and left, and Bella Dayton has the first out. Again, not a lot of swing and misses from them. If it ain't broke. Three different speeds that she'll throw. Up the middle from Caroline Wong, nice pick by Martinez. Well, a five-pitch second inning. That she had was probably one of the best Februaries ever at Texas softball, maybe one of the best Februaries of any softball player in Division One. And she goes the other way here for a better reach, three of the first four innings. And Martinez with a ground ball to second, sucked up by Davis on the first, Bloodworth, a double play. Four, six, and three likes to keep the ball on the ground with her drop ball and curve. And off of her glove this time, Rosenberry deflects a ground ball off the bat of Washington, and it ricochets in the left field for a base hit. It's Missouri State, seven were strikeouts. And she does not have a strikeout in relief here. She puts Stewart on. Get out. Two strike pitches high, Wong throws through to second. Almost had Washington. 
than freshman on the right side. Another one chopped. This one fair. This one looped high by Rosenberry. Couldn't get a clean throw off to first. Maloney beats it out. There's in the country. A terrific senior. Dayton with a slow ground ball to shortstop. Bloodworth will get her at first. Rosenberry gets out of it. Never has a bad day. Only started three games last year. She's played in every game this season. She started all but two. Three, two. That is a call. Third strike. Out of the inside corner, Gutierrez has her second strike. Into something great, power through them and overcome them, or you can let them get the most of you. Wicked speed and spin there to strike out Katie Lott. Here's when he was a head coach at Oregon as well. Left side, Bloodworth. Down to Scott at third. That ends the inning. Gutierrez has cruised since the first. Another classic, perhaps in the making, between these two Big 12 rivals. A ground ball chopped to the left side by Caden Henry. Talon Edwards throws her out. And Ivy Rosenberry gets the leadoff hitter. To second base, Davis from her knees. Can't get it off in time, throws it away. Wong's there to back it up. Only Texas player to strike out has been Mitchell, and she goes down a second time. Doing it for her team. Atwood crushes one in the left field. Oh, my. That is an uncommon bit of exit velocity off the bat of Reese Atwood. The only good news for Rosenberry. Two on, two out, Martinez. With a ground ball dug out to Davis, and the inning is over. Once again, Oklahoma State beats the traffic. Seven left on base for the Longhorns. And the first set is a fair ball. And an out. Just right on the line. Me. Rosie Davis to the right side. Washington from an E retires her. That's what Winning Mike White's moment is still standing in the way. Edwards up the middle, there's a base hit. Talon Edwards, two for three, each of the first two games of this series. What's right she side. Do with it? Fly ball in the left field, got it off the end of the bat. Big swing, short result. Gutierrez has been terrific tonight. Oklahoma State had won five in a row. Texas had won five in a row after that. For Oklahoma State's win last night. And the Cowgirls trying to make it two straight as Alyssa Washington rounds out to third to start the sixth against Ivy Rosenberry. Davis had sat down to a knee. And Davis' throw is wide from a just really big angle that might look like a strike, but. Stewart's on the run, slow ground ball to Edwards, has no play at first, has no play at second. Stewart just got the left hand in there. This. Go and run at second, one out. Bella Dayton back to Rosenberry. She will go to first and get the out there. So the runners move up into scoring position, an extra base. But Rosenberry gets the second out. Miss. A ground ball to the left side. It gets past Edwards. And Bloodworth's throw is not in time. A two-strike base hit for Caden Henry. Gives Texas finally the lead. You see the big shift on. Talon Edwards is playing off the line. So that ball was just perfectly placed to the Oklahoma State big shift. Great job of Caden Henry to just put the ball in play with two strikes. That pitch was a little bit elevated. She was able to put it in play and score a run. Gonna go 10 this year. A 
And she will go down swinging at a 3-2, and that pitch was caught. It never hit the dirt. Just loaded one out in the first. Tim had a sack fly. Tim with a slow ground ball to Washington. and That you can rely on, but they all have different looks. They all complement each other. Scott from third throws out work. Gutierrez has another one, two, three inning. This is a team that hits for a really high slugging percentage, generates a lot of extra base hits, home runs. Popped up to the right side by Mitchell. It's Tim in from right field. Away from her, a lot of power on pitches that are up in the zone. Another ground ball. Bloodworth from shortstop. Looked by Godwin for the out. 7-8-9 for Oklahoma State. Katie Lott to lead off the inning, then Megan Bloodworth. Martinez smokes one to second, and Rosie Davis. So the bottom of the order will try to give Rosie Davis a shot. And leading off the bottom of the seventh. Lott takes, strike three, cut. After that, she just really hasn't looked back. 2-2. Boulard grounds it to first. Knocked down by Mitchell, who has out number two. Girls alive against the Longhorns. The 1-2. And a man strike three. Set Lolly Gutierrez spins the first seven inning complete game of her Big 12 career. And her gem leads Texas to a 2-1 win in front of a raucous Cowgirl Stadium crowd. Texas needed somebody to step up.